Hi, I'm Steve. I'm Rainy. And we're RV, RV site, site to Site. Well, we are uh, wanted to do this video here because uh, you've heard people say there's no perfect RV, and there really isn't. Mm -hmm. uh, we looked long and hard, and actually yes. she was the one that found uh, this particular RV, and it is, in my opinion, uh, really, really nice and almost perfect. Yes. But there were certain things that we had to do that we just felt like that we needed to change some things, mm -hmm. and one of those was the TV. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it was just not large enough. I don't know the size of it, but it was just small. And so we decided to change that out and put a large TV in, and I'm going to show how we did that. Yes. Yeah, so I just moved some TVs around and put uh, added one in the bedroom uh, and so uh, we switched those out and I'll show you in the video how we did mm -hmm. that and then there was something that you didn't like about this RV. Well I didn't like the bathroom faucet. Uh, it was too close. Uh, you couldn't get your hand under it good uh, to wash your hands or to you know get your um, face cloth under it to wash your face and so we had seen where several people had changed theirs out and put like a little gooseneck, I guess you'd call it, right. on there. And uh, that worked really nice. So we bought one and our grandson helped us put it on. That's right. And then the other thing, uh, we wanted an RV with recliners and we wanted those recliners uh, directly opposite of the uh, TV entertainment center. And so what we did there, uh, we, we chose this RV because it was set up like that, mm -hmm. but it has these buttons on the uh, arm chair or arm things. Vibrate. Yeah, and it vibrates light. and turn the lights on underneath and heat. Uh, the heat. And every time you got out of those chairs, it seems <laughs> like it, you turned on everything. Yes. And even though they time out, uh, we just didn't want to do that. So. Uh, I hooked up a thing uh, that uh, was able to switch them off by remote mm -hmm. and so we can just turn them on when we want them on. That's not uh, We are uh, planning on installing a TV. We have this TV right here that came with the unit. Uh, I'm not sure what size it is. I think it may be a 42 inch or something like that. And so anyhow, we're going to change that out. Uh, this came in today, the Vizio V-Series 50 inch. Uh, and it has, uh, it's a smart TV, uh, very reasonably priced at uh, Sam's Club. We bought this. I think the TV is actually uh, the one I'm going to install is actually 26, uh, about 26 inches tall. The space in there is about 25 by 50. Uh, so there's plenty of room for that. The TV is only 44 inches wide. And so that shouldn't be any problem installing in that space. There is the other one. That screw is wanting to move just a little bit. Okay, so we got it. And that was a little plan worked pretty good. And there we go. And we'll take it and lay it over here on the couch. Oh, if I'd only remembered that these have a bracket that you just a slight little tap. And this bracket right here comes right off. It has this there, which will make this a whole lot easier to mount because all I have to do is just mount this bracket to the wall and I'll just mark these holes right here and mount use those screws that came with it. And uh, I'll have this TV back on the wall fairly quick. Hopefully it won't drop. Okay. That did pretty good. Two little handholds on the plastic bag there. It did really well. This is a, a full motion TV wall mount. And this is the one that I'm going to use on the one in the living area. This uh, 
has to be right on uh, the uh, mounting area. Uh, this right here lifts up and it will almost go in any position. And so uh, I have to lift it up like that. And so that will angle anyway. Really a nice, nice unit. All right, now the way this works, uh, right here you have a couple of hooks right here. And so this top hook hooks on here like so. And of course this can be adjusted I think the pins, um, the bolt holes are about 200 by 200 or something like that on this one. Maybe more, maybe it's 400, but this, this will fit anything. And so, if you notice, right here is a screw, and you run a screwdriver up through here. And what that does is when that, when that screw is tightened up, you can't, this won't lift off like that. So to take it off, you have to... Unscrew this screw here a little bit till it clears this bottom bracket right here, and then it'll lift. Then you can lift off the TV. And the thing that I like about it too is the TV can be pulled out from the wall quite a bit actually. And uh, so, um, like you know, way out here, like like that. You know, I mean, it's it can go a long way out. I'll put this right here. And I'm going to center this to see. All right. Uh, had to drill a couple holes up here. Or we're getting, I drilled one here. I'm going to move our bracket over a little bit. And bolt this. Washer on here. Get this one started. So I have this leveled now, and I'm going to measure from here up to here, and I've got 14 and 3 quarters. Let me turn it here so you can see it. I want to make sure that this is perfectly level with the top of the TV thing, thingy, whatever you call it. Okay, so that's 14 and 3 quarters. Ooh, it's 14 and 3 quarters. It's absolutely perfect. All right, now what I need to do is this bracket here needs to go on here. So this right there is 14 and 3 quarters from the bottom. So that's going to be way up here, probably. So about. That's 13. That's going to be right at the top, looks like. So that's 14 and a quarter. That's pretty close. So, put this up here. this back. Oh, that's perfect. Is it? Good. Good. Excellent. All right, so now it's exactly right. So now we've got the 50-inch TV installed here. And uh, got the fireplace going, a little cool this morning. And so the 50 inch TV here looks really, really good here. I can still open up the cabinet doors. I have space underneath there. And able to open those up. Now in order to mount the TV outside, I had to move this bracket from outside to in here and I mounted it exactly where it said to mount it right here 
But uh, when I did that, these uh, holes right here didn't match up with the backing board because the backing board is apparently over a little bit further over this way. And so I had to put these screws here and here and here and here uh, before I could mount the TV. Now, of course, it was easy once I mounted it uh, because I was able to put uh, hook it up up here. Once I installed the TV, it came in really, really good. It looks very, very clear. I could almost eat that steak. So that's the way it went. Up here, I have plugged in the TV. I have the cable plugged in or, or to the uh, antenna, either one. And uh, the other thing there is to my Roku, uh, which is uh, behind the TV. Uh, where we can watch, uh, well, many, many stations as long as we have internet. Okay, what I've done here, I've removed this TV, the little TV here. I put it in the bedroom, and I'm getting ready to uh, mount this, which is the, this is the one that came out of the living room. And so I did some measuring, found out it was, this bracket when it's closed is 13 and a half inches from the right side. so. The TV itself is 36 inches wide by 20 and a half inches tall. It'll barely, barely fit in here. And uh, so uh, I have measured over and the bracket will start right here. Okay, I've got the TV. Now, we'll see if I can get it fit on there. So, there you have it, I've moved. This TV from the living room, I moved the uh, TV that was out here, I put it in the bedroom, and then the new TV I mounted over the fireplace, and so we're, as far as I know, all set to go. I've got to get the remote for this TV and put it out here, but uh, I think we're fine. So that wraps up the TV installation and if you decide to do this uh, put some comments below and uh, it works really well next my grandson Evan is going to help me install the Moen uh, WS84667SRN which is available on Amazon for $90 I'll put a link below uh, but this is really a nice brushed nickel faucet that matches the sink very well and so uh, he was very helpful. It's very tight for me to get under that uh, section in the bathroom. But uh, here's Evan installing our new faucet in our bathroom. Mm -hmm. And it's loose now? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, now uh, undo the, the rings that I showed you. Okay. They should be up there. All right. You see them? Yes, sir. Well, undo them all the way? Yeah. Okay. So they fall off. Is it now you're done doing the blue one or the red one? I'm done doing the blue one. Uh huh. The blue one's really tight. And you put the flat side up, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. All right. You mean you put the... Yeah, to put the blue one on the... On the right side? Uh-huh. Okay. <clears throat> Now make sure you thread it right because it's easy to cross thread because it's plastic, you know? Uh-huh. And so you just have to make sure it's going on smoothly. 
You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Is it fitting okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Huh? Just the red one now. So did it go on good? Yes, sir. Okay. There's a top nuts tight too. The the one that holds it to the sink. I mean to the. Yes, sir. Okay, so you got them tight too. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And so you're pretty sure that the water hookups are tight too. Uh yes, sir. They're tight. Okay. All right. I'm gonna turn on the water pump, and you watch for leaks. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't see anything. Huh? I don't see anything. Okay. All right. Now turn the water on, both of them. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Both of them? Yeah. All right. Turn them off individually. Okay. Now check under there to make sure there's no leaks. Okay. Feel the pipes. Feel them. Yeah, feel the rounded fittings. Is it dry? Yes, sir. Both of them? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir, they feel dry to me. Huh? They feel dry to me. Okay, good. This faucet looked great after my grandson installed it. Uh, it is a mowing. Uh, and uh, it matches the sink perfectly. We have enough clearance there to get the hands under it. And so we really, really like this one. Uh, I wish Grand Design would start installing something like this. I mean, what could it make the RV cost? Maybe $20, $30 more. And finally, to solve the problem about the buttons on the recliners, I bought this adapter uh, that I simply unplug the transformers uh, behind the uh, recliners uh, that were plugged in there. I unplug those and plug this unit in and uh, then plug the re uh, transformers to the recliners in this and now I'm able to control it by a remote so uh, when we get up out of the chairs we no longer turn them on and then when we're sitting in the chairs, I just press the button on the remote. The lights come on. Uh, the controls come on for the chairs. And I'm able to turn on the heater or the vibrator or the lights. Uh, it uh, definitely made a difference on these. I bought this on Amazon. It was uh, pretty inexpensive. I can't remember how much, but I'll put a link below uh, to that. Okay, uh, so there you have it. Uh, those three things. We did some more things. I may show those to you later, but I don't want to cram everything into one video. Right. And uh, so, uh, but those were the major things that we did, and we just love this RV. Yes, we uh, do. And uh, the new faucet just matches so well. It does. It, uh, works it is so a mowing. It is so nice. It is. Yeah. Uh, it's a mowing faucet, uh, all metal, and uh, I will put a link to that below also. And uh, so anyhow, until the next time, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.